good day to you mate. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook page. Enjoy the video. In this video, we will discuss distress flares. Its use and requirements, as per SOLA's regulation and LSA code. What is distress flare and its use? Flares is a type of pyrotechnic that produces a bright light or intense heat without an explosion. Flares are used for distress signaling, illumination, or defensive countermeasures in civilian and military applications. Use flares only in an emergency. Flares should be located within reach and stored vertically in a cool, dry place, such as a watertight container, to keep them in good working condition. Types of pyrotechnic flares are rocket parachute flares, hand flares, and buoyant smoke signals. In this video, we will focus only on rocket parachute flare. We will discuss hand flares and or in smoke signals in a separate video. The operation to activate the flares differs from the manufacturer. Always read the manufacturer's instructions before using flares as a safety measure. Here's a sample procedure to use for Comet Rocket Parachute Flare. Comet Red Parachute Rocket is a long-range distress alerting signal for use day or night from a stricken vessel, lifeboat or life raft. Hold the rocket firmly by its ribbed orange handle. Unscrew the red cap at the bottom so the firing cord with the red ball attached drops down. Do not point at people or property. Hold the signal vertically above your head and pointing away from your body. If possible, aim slightly downwind. Keep hands clear of the top and pull the red ball sharply down. There will be some slight recoil when fired. Rocket-propelled projectiles will seek the wind and turn into it. The rocket will propel the red flare to an altitude of 300 meters, 1,000 feet, and will burn during a controlled descent suspended from a parachute for 40 seconds at 30,000 candela that is visible up to 30 nautical miles away. SOLAS requirements specify 12 to be carried on a ship's bridge and 4 to be fitted in the ship's lifeboats and life rafts. What are the requirements of distress flares in SOLAS regulation? SOLAS Chapter 3 says that not less than 12 rocket parachute flares, complying with the requirements of Section 3.1 of the Code, shall be carried and be stowed on or near the navigation bridge. It mentions Section 3.1 of the Code. So, let's open LSA code and check the requirements. The rocket parachute flare shall be contained in a water-resistant casing have brief instructions or diagrams clearly illustrating the use of the rocket parachute flare printed on its casing, have integral means of ignition, and be so designed as not to cause discomfort to the person holding the casing when used in accordance with the manufacturer's operating instructions. The rocket shall, when fired vertically, reach an altitude of not less than 300 meters, at or near the top of its trajectory, the rocket shall eject a parachute flare, which shall burn with a bright red color, burn uniformly with an average luminous intensity of not less than 30,000 candelas, have a burning period of not less than 40 seconds, have a rate of descent of not more than 5 meters per second, and not damage its parachute or attachments while burning. Ok mate that's all about rocket parachute flare, and I hope it gives you a piece of information. Thank you for watching mate and if you like the video, please click the like button. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell button to keep updated in my upcoming videos.